So this abstract is getting at trying to develop improvements for the way we determine whether or not a patient is in remission. So at the end of therapy in large cell lymphoma, in which the goal is cure, the most important test that's ordered is a PET CT scan. The problem is that patients will still relapse even if, even if the PET CT scan is negative, and it's not very, sen uh, not very specific. So many times the PET CT scan will be read as positive, but it's actually not active lymphoma. So we, and what has happened is clinicians actually do additional tests to try to make up for that. So they'll either order another PET CT scan or they'll have to biopsy something that shows up on PET CT. So we were interested in looking specifically at the end of therapy and comparing whether or not these new blood tests, these circulating tumor DNA blood tests did a better job of predicting who actually had active lymphoma compared to PET CT scans. So we had both things um, analyzed in a blinded way. So the radiologist didn't know whether what happened to the patient. And, every, and there was 14 positive PET scans. Almost all those patients didn't even progress. There was only two patients that progressed. Most of the time, those patients underwent additional procedures, but they didn't have active lymphoma. On the other hand, the, the CT DNA, um, there was no patient who tested negative that actually progressed. So the negative predictive value was extremely high, and it did a good job of figuring out which patients would, would progress uh, in the future, although there are still some patients that were positive that have not yet progressed, so we're awaiting follow-up on that.